Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Now this was some very shocking information that was released about Kalani and her baby daddy, Javon, today. So it looks like these two are not doing so well anymore. Let's go ahead and get into this information that TMC revealed to us today. It says Kalani's baby daddy wants full custody and fears their daughter may be a V-I-C-T-I-M of a S-E-X cult now this is crazy their daughter is only five years old and he's saying that he doesn't only believe that kalani is being influenced by this cult that he believes that kalani is letting their daughter be influenced by this cult as well it says kalani and javon young white have been ordered to attend mediation to discuss custody visitation and assist in developing a mutual agreeable parenting plan kalani's baby daddy javon young white has filed a paternity petition and he's aiming for full custody of their daughter Adea. According to a court docs obtained by TMZ, Javon, he believes that Kalani has been mixed up in this cult for the past few years. So this is crazy. This is not even something that he's saying is new that Kalani has got mixed up in. He's saying that this has been for the past few years. And I kind of assume since this is now being brought to social media that he probably exhausted all of his options and his last resort was to take it to court. Unfortunately, if you guys don't remember Kalani, and her baby daddy had the best relationship co-parenting they were close friends and everything even after they had gotten out of their personal relationship with each other they still had a good co-parenting relationship and she was talking about that was her friend and she had came out to him out the closet and he was super supportive so it's super sad to see that their co-parenting relationship has gotten wonky and it's not on the best of terms but anyways this article also says he believes that the cult is influencing how she raised their five-year-old daughter Daughter. And just to think that this five-year-old little girl could be in a cult is super, super sad. It says, Javon's alleging that the cult leader has a slew of SA accusations and fears their daughter could be at risk for ABUSE without court intervention. In fact, he's claiming that these cult leaders have Kalani so much under their thumb. They've convinced Kalani that he could be a, let's just say for lack of better words on YouTube, Shret to Kalani and their daughter. So that's why Kalani has been keeping their daughter a day away bottom line between Kalani's hectic tour schedule and her current environment he doesn't think that it's a fit for their daughter Kalani and Javon welcome Adea in 2019 but split up the following year and like I said I mean Kalani had did multiple interviews basically in telling that her and her baby daddy had the best co-parenting relationship that they were close friends and now it just doesn't seem like they are close anymore it says the singers fans know Adea well she's popped up all over her mom's IG and even starred in a video called Little Story. Now, I really don't feel like TMZ gave us enough information, so that's why I decided to dig a little further. And we got into this article from Billboard. Let's go ahead and get into what Billboard has to say. It says, In the court documents filed in Los Angeles on July the 24th and obtained by Billboard, Young White claims that everyone else has a bigger say so when it comes to the upbringing of our daughter than I do. Okay, so he's like, Look, Everybody else has an influence on Kalani and how she's raising our daughter, but I am her father, so I should have a say so as well. He says that because Adea, who arrived in March 2019, she was born in a home and not in a conventional setting like a hospital, Young White's name is not on her birth certificate as her father, which is very unfortunate. Um, additionally, he claims that he requested a copy of both the child's birth certificate and social security number, both to no avail which means that you know he didn't get any answer or Kalani has not done it unfortunately so like I said it does seem like he exhausted all of his options and he had no choice but to take this to court because Kalani is not giving him what he needs for their child which is super super unfortunate this article also says according to young white's filing kalani whose full name is kalani parish allegedly has been involved in this cult for the past few years and it appears that this cult controls her actions and her behaviors including when it comes to the upbringing of our daughter per the documents young white claims that he has attempted to retrieve his daughter in the past but was allegedly physically restrained and let's just say for lack of better words on youtube threatened okay by members of what he refers to as a cult so there's a possibility with the saying that he refers to them as members of a cult that you know Kalani is not even a part of 
no cold. I'm not saying that he's lying or anything like that, but there's a big possibility that I don't know. He's just, you know, trying to be dramatic with calling it a cult. Most likely as an artist, as a singer, um, Kalani has people around her that's a part of her team, you know? And I can understand what he's saying. He's like, this is your team members. It's not like family or anything. Like I'm you know, her dad, I should be around her, which I think is understandable. But it also says while respondent is on tour, which is Kalani and our daughter is in the care of her fellow cult members, Adea sleeps in bed with and is given baths by random adult members of the cult. And she is often in bed alone with some of these people. Wow. Okay, it says Young White concluded by requesting that Kalani takes a psychological exam and that his name be added to Adea's birth certificate and that Adea's name be changed officially from Adea Parish to Adea Parish Young White. Okay, I feel like this is somewhat of a dad stepping up and saying, look, I want to be in my daughter's life more than I'm allowed to. So it does seem like Kalani is mostly having their daughter. She's mostly around and he feels left out, which I feel like is understandable i don't feel like this is one of those names where it's like baby daddy has gone crazy he's missing his baby mama he wants his family back i feel like it's more so he's been pushed to the side long enough and he wants some type of responsibility for his daughter okay um he said i'm also requesting that i have full custody of adea due to the busy schedule of her relationship with this cult that she is involved with okay he says the environment that she has created for herself is not the type of environment that a child should be living in therefore i bring myself to the mercy and wisdom of the court to save my daughter before it is too late so like i said it seems like a very very worried father kalani has not yet publicly responded to these allegations in young white's petition for custody billboard has reached out to reps but i guess they got no answer from kalani now like i said this could be one of the two things it could just be that hey Kalani is like look I got my daughter we're good we had an agreement to have a child with each other but at some point you were supposed to give me more time with my daughter I was supposed to have all you know most of the time with my daughter and you'll be able to see her when you're able to see her it seems like maybe that's the agreement that Kalani thought that they had with each other but obviously no parent a lot of good parents do not want that they want some type of schedule like no I'm not going to just see my daughter whenever you get off of tour or when you're done performing I want a schedule when I can see my daughter and I think that's the best bet I think that's the best thing that they could do and that should have been done a long time ago what this girl is five years old or it could be a situation where he's trying to be controlling because he did say even in the TMZ documents he did say that hey he was threatened in the billboard documents he did say that as well he said that they were trying to convince Kalani that he could be a threat to her and their daughter and who really knows why you know he he could be a shred it could be that he sent some type of text message he could have gotten aggressive you know he did say that he did attempt to retrieve their daughter so he could have came aggressively he could have been like hey I'm taking my daughter he could have tried to snatch her anything we're not really hearing Kalani's side or these cult members side of the situation so we really don't know what's going on to me from what I'm reading and I want to know what you guys think in the comment section it seems like a concerned father and he wants more time with his daughter and he doesn't really know who's around his daughter but some people may be seeing it as hey i've been through this before yeah my baby daddy said he was concerned about our child but in reality it was all about me it definitely could be that type of situation as well okay because he's saying look i want my daughter not to only have my last name but i want me my last name and kalani's last name mixed in there okay and he is saying that he wants full custody he don't even want to work out no type of plan he wants full custody of their daughter you know and i can understand what he's saying he's like i want it before it's too late but if he's shown any signs of aggression if he's let's just say for lack of a better word shredding her in any type of way or any of these members i can understand why kalani is like hey I need to keep you away from our daughter because I do not even trust you. And it starts off with a good co-parenting relationship. Like I said, it seemed like they had it, but then things get wonky. You know, with a child, when you're bringing up a child, you have to understand for years to come, 
there's always something that could happen. It's always one parent that could, you know, be a little concerned or that's not comfortable with something. And that's when you guys have to come to an agreement because it's important for both parents to feel like your child is safe, not just one parent to feel like, oh, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Kalani should definitely be concerned if her baby daddy is concerned about who their daughter is around because that matters. Maybe he's concerned for a reason. You guys are both parents. Maybe he's getting some type of, you know, some type of signal. Maybe he's feeling some type of energy, you know, who really knows what's going on. But I want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Sad situation. I hope it gets figured out. And if we hear from Kalani, Kalani hasn't responded so far, but if we hear from her, I would definitely keep you guys updated. Like I said, in the meantime, y'all let me know what y'all think. Once again, thank you for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed rest of your night.